We're going to do a song called Run, Run, Run. You boys ready? Yeah. yeah. The name of the band is Oakhurst, and we uh, just it started in 1999 here in Denver, Colorado. I think I was at a Red Rock show, and I decided that uh, I wanted to start a band and, and play live, and I wanted to play on that stage. Put together uh, a little three-piece at first, and over the years, the members have come and gone, and now this is the strongest unit we've had so far, and we've been going strong now for about three years together, really making an impact on the festival circuit. John G climbed up a hill, gonna do some sleeping underneath the stars. He got scared off by a great big old bear and he ran that hill too far. And we push like well, almost 250 shows a year uh, just for the fun of it. Well, um, I play the mandolin primarily. Started playing, playing out in clubs and stuff when I was about 19. As soon as I could, found a mandolin for like $100 in old cheap Kentucky. Started just teaching myself how to play it, and eventually got better and better mandolins and got better and better at it. I found these these guys who, you know, really understood kind of what music I wanted to play and and uh, just worked out. You know, I'm just. Kept after it, just kept picking. River, gonna take you home. Keep it run, 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 run. Where the river gonna take you home. Take home. I play banjo, so I am influenced by certain banjo players. Banjo players I'm influenced by are Pete Wernick, JD Crow, Bela Flex. Jerry Garcia is a really good banjo player, I like some of the stuff he's done. There's so many warm rooms in Colorado, so I can't say just one is my favorite, but uh, there's a lot of theaters uh, locally and in Boulder that are really nice to play. The Boulder Theater, um, that one in particular, we just got to play there with uh, uh, Great American Taxi, and that was a wonderful experience. Jim wrote in a letter, said be home in three. To get where we are now and rattle off the list of names that you know we've gotten to play with this year alone is, is, is pretty amazing. Some of the people that stand out are John Mayer, got to play with Lyle Lovett and Emily Harris on their boat, with the Flaming Lips a few times. Well, there, there's been four CDs um, total released by the band. Um, we have our newest one, Jumping to Get Down. We have the one pre previous to that one, which was uh, um, Dual Mono. And I played on about half of that record. And then, then before that was Greenhorn, which I wasn't on yet. And then the first record, which is Loose and Prosperous, has conveniently kind of been hidden. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, howdy. <laughs> Good luck finding that. We'll be soaking up the sun rays. Mission crib, take it home for the store. I joined up just about, well, just like around three years ago. Um, it was one of those things where the previous drummer decided halfway through a show that he was done and left, and I was playing with a with another local band. You know, AP comes up to me, you know, it's set break. He's like Dude, our you know our drummer just walked out. Is there any way you could like maybe reset up and like just kind of help us finish out the night? And like certainly, yeah, absolutely. Uh, just like any good band, I don't think you could put a you can't put a name on it. But we do a high octane roots rock bluegrass feel. Technically it can't be bluegrass because there's drums in the band, but uh, we, like to, we like to get people shaking and moving, dancing, and that's, that's the groove we're looking for, just getting, getting the fire and the energy out of the crowd, that's what we're going for. We 
we've done this enough times to where I think we kind of adapt our show to what, you know, our perception of the room is. And I don't think, you know, people individually are thinking too much about themselves. We just kind of come out and, like, play the best show that Oakhurst can play. The good thing lately that we've had is uh, the addition of our tour bus, so we have a little place to kind of go get away and, and do our thing and relax before the show so you're not kind of out in the crowd, you know, so. Well, we were working with New Belgium Brewing and they're, they're kind of champions of sustainable energy. <clears throat> we're really down with anything that has to do with that. Our bus runs on, uh, you know, straight waste vegetable oil and, and um, anytime we can kind of try to raise awareness with that, that's kind of an emerging. Thing. You know, our whole plan when we bought the bus was to make the conversion, and then we ended up finding a guy. All of us went down and worked on it together with him so we could understand it, and then now we're just a bunch of kind of pirates out there finding fuel where we can between stops. That I listen to right now. Wilco number one, Flaming Lips number two. I just picked up some Billy Joel on my iPod. Been digging on Colexico a lot lately. Spend a lot of time listening to them. Lately, I've been kind of going back to my roots a little bit. I've been like digging on like the old Faith No More and like Metallica. Some Black Sabbath lately. I've been yeah. really getting into that yeah. again and. Um, some old 311 as well, I've been really loving that. Earth, Wind & Fire is probably my favorite all-time band. In my heart. Yeah, I, always, I, have, I have fantasy dreams of <laughs> Philip Bailey with the five string. <laughs> Every man has a place. <laughs> but those dreams never come true. <laughs> Maybe one day. We pull that chariot up on the river, take a step across that bridge.